This copyrighted telecast may not be reproduced, retransmitted, or used in any form without the authorized written consent of NASCAR Broadcasting. NASCAR would like to thank all of our loyal fans for your continued support, and we hope you enjoyed today's broadcast. Trouble turn four. A car has spun Michael Waltrip. He just got up too high. I was watching. Hang on, you're good. He's been running that high, 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 high line. And he got too high that time. Yeah, he was running against up. the wall. He was yeah, running in the 23rd position. Good shape, good shape. Come on. He had first. moved up. Come on out for the track. Come on for the track. He was the track. in treacherous territory. That's the first caution of the afternoon. It comes for a single car spin. Michael Waltrip, who had a very frustrating day last Sunday in Martinsville. Here's what Michael saw. You just see he enters the turn really, really high, and he's been doing that, but when you get up that high, there's still a little bit of dust and the Inside. debris, dirt up there. Got too much of it. Good. Hang on, you're good. Hang on, you're good. Ted, a, another advantage to this car, Mike, it's Brother a little bit slower in the turn. It's uh, you have to back off and you're a little slower through the turns. You but he made his NASCAR debut here in what was the Bush Series last November, started 17th, finished 20th. He was actually 29th quick at the track. This car is locked into the show based on where David Rudiman brought it in the point standings prior to Rudiman getting out of this car, moving into the 44 to replace the now retired Dale Jarrett in the UPS car. There was some talk of whether the team whether the team could switch points. Whoa, whoa, oh, guys, whoa, boy. whoa, oh, no, oh, my gosh. I have never seen anything like that in my life. He hit that wall a ton. Oh, my gosh. M Michael's moving around in the car. My goodness, that car just hooked, went straight in. Straight. It, did that, it did that hook and go up the hill, man. And that was a incredibly hard impact look at, the look, at that, look at that safer barrier right there how it just crushed all that stuff that that is good though oh, that no, means that great. thing moved it's great it's just incredible how hard it hit and then then the flipping helped the car dissipate the remaining energy parts flying off it he look at that, that. Oh, look at that goodness. and that's, wave to the fans my goodness that says so much for these race cars, it says so much for what these racetracks have done with this safer barrier. That is unbelievable. Let's take a look. I think you're going to see him get loose the minute he oh, yeah. turns down into the corner. Yeah, and he's just, man, and that thing just absolutely. I will guarantee you that impact was well over 180, probably 185 miles per hour. We've already seen 199 or better getting in there going straight. It's a part of the racetrack. Oh, oh I, I, I can't even hardly watch that. It's a part of the racetrack, but Murray said was a little slick getting in. Good. Not knowing if Michael changed his line a little bit, got a little too much into that speedy drive. Oh, my Lord. But showed my emotion. He definitely did that right there, Chris. I mean, but I said it earlier, old school racing. You hit me, I'm going to hit you back. And right now, we got trouble on the racetrack. We can see J.J. Yaley in the 96 car. Hard crash to the inside. Not looking very good for the 96. This has been an AT&T race break. Our fourth caution is out. Let's head back upstairs to Daryl Larry and Mike. Pit stops completed after this caution flag. Matt Kenseth wins the race off pit road. Jeff Gordon was hustling his car, trying to keep from going a second lap down, and it got away from him and into the turn four wall. That's what's put us under the second caution flag of the day. Our, our tires have five lug nuts and they dump 18 gallons of Sunoco race fuel. Coming in from the right. way back, you can see him way back there. There he goes, he just lost it. I was looking right at it. The car just come around with cautions out in Texas. We have an unofficial little pool up here in the booth. We bet a shrimp on which of the drivers running the high line will be the first to run across the safer barrier. I the love is. Robbie Gordon to death, but I just had told Daryl, watch the seven car going into three through three and four, and lo and behold, he got it. What he did, he got up a little too high on his entrance up there in that gray. There's no grip. J.J. Yaley at uh, his sponsor's home track. We'll go to his home track next week in Phoenix, Saturday night under the lights, but... He's taken a, a pretty hard hit as the safety workers don't have far to go to come to his aid. Let's see what happened to his Toyota. 
just came up off turn wow. two and the car just broke dead loose with him, Daryl. And, and, and that's that sort of that transition area out of the banking onto the straightaway. And if your car is a little marked, So many races here with five different drivers. As we talked at the top of the show, 14 races coming into today, 13 different winners. Now, Carl Edwards is one of those winners with only one win, trying to become the only other repeat winner of this race, along with Jeff Burton. I just, uh, I just, yellow's yellow's out, yellow's yellow's out. Out. turn one, car one. Martin Truex engine finally let go. A lot of smoke, maybe some fluid coming past start finish. Trying and to get down behind the six right here. Clear. You remember what I told you on our own camera at the top of the show? I was yeah. glad I was out at the hotel That's yesterday. All the way I'm the glad end. I'm up in the booth today making this call. Boy. Same situation as yesterday's nationwide race. Handful of laps to go for the lead cars. And there are now just 11 of them on the lead lap. And Kevin Harvick uh, won't get a free pass because we're inside 10 laps to go. Oh, left the outside open. I'll have to say that. Here comes Clint Boyer with those two fresh tires. He's going for third going down into turn one, side by side. Almost four wide, back where Newman and Kenseth battle. Well, Kenseth is in trouble, we see that. Here comes, here comes Smoke. Here comes Clint Boyer again with those two fresh tires going up into three. We'll be coming to the white flag, he's side by side with Kyle Busch. I think th oh, that's three wide again. That's Will exciting. They make it? That's exciting for third, but ain't much happening. Up here this front. time, four back. Carl Edwards running away. The battle is back at sixth place. Yeah, those guys that got tires are fighting with each other big time. Yes, they are. Newman, Kenseth, Tony Stewart, oh, Jeff Burton on the outside, and Denny out. Hamlin. Look that's a hornet's nest. Coming to the checkered flag. Matt Kenseth, a big old sandwich. Carl Edwards off turn four. Will win the Samsung 5. Oh, we got Clint Boyer sideways. Denny Hamlin and Boyer got together with Boyer ending up in the wall but Great coming job, across guys. the line in fourth. Yeah, Hamlin got into Boyer and uh, I don't know how Clint kept from wrecking that thing. Uh, he did hit the wall, but he didn't wreck anybody else. Yeah, that's unofficial. I think he actually came across Mike Clint Boyer, the last car on the lead lap because Kenseth beat him back to the line. We'll have to see. That's unofficial right now. Great job. This is for Bob Osborne sitting at home, guys. This is for Bob. Good job, guys. Woo! Hey, Carl, it's DW. You were right, buddy. You had the car. Man, I didn't know about that last restart, DW. I was paddling for all his worth. I left some black marks. Man, this is great. This is for Bob Osborne sitting at home, man. This is awesome. We'll pass that along, and uh, he heard you. Good job, buddy. Bob Osborne under suspension by NASCAR for the Las Vegas incident. And the cat in the hat will go to victory lane at his house. Jimmy Johnson and Kyle Busch and Ryan Newman is back there in the midst of it. You see the 07. He's going to try to slide up in front of Denny Hamlin and doesn't quite have enough room. I think both guys did a whale of a job. It cost the 07 quite a, a couple, three spots there, but the, they didn't wreck everybody anyway. And that's how the race changed in an instant. With NASCAR Sprint Cup Mobile, follow the race instantly. That backflip becomes today's Sprint Mobile monster moment as Carl Edwards thoroughly dominated the weekend here in Texas. This copyrighted telecast may not be reproduced, retransmitted, or used in any form without the authorized written consent of NASCAR Broadcasting. NASCAR would like to thank all of our loyal fans for your continued support, and we hope you enjoyed today's broadcast.